What up, everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today, we are in part two of the vocal mixing series for hip hop. What what we're going to do today is focus on leveling, panning, EQ, and compression. And in the next tutorial, the next part of this series, we'll focus on send effects like reverb and delays and whatnot. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. One thing that I did not go over in the last video was after you organize these tracks. If you haven't seen the last video, definitely go back and check that out. I'll put it in the cards. After we organize these tracks, we can sort everything else to match how we sorted it here in the sequencer. You just select them all. In order to select them all, you can click on the first one, hold down shift, and then click on the last one, and you'll see they're all highlighted on the left side. We're going to right click and sort selected device groups. And you see they're reordered here in the mixer and they're also reordered in the rack. So once again, this is what it looked like before and now after. Okay. Now, best practices for me. This, uh, these rough levels are coming in pretty hot. They were clipping when, when we previewed them before. So what I'm going to do is mute everything and turn down the beat. Because I'm going to be mixing everything to the beat. Alright. So. Going to come up here. To the gain. And pull it down somewhere between. Negative 9 and negative 10 decibels. And the reason I'm doing it up here. Is just because. I have more control over the volume. By using these. I wouldn't necessarily say that you have to use those. You can use whatever you're comfortable with. Let's go ahead and collapse these menus that I'm not using at the moment in the rack. Another common practice is to get rid of the dead air in these files. Now, me personally, I know this isn't air because I consolidated these clips before I exported them from Pro Tools, right? So I know that it's just blank information. But if yours wasn't blank, then this is how you would cut it out. You grab the razor tool with R, or alternatively, you can click up here. You zoom in with H, or alternatively, you can use this and this area to zoom in however you would like to. All right. If you hold down Command on a Mac and scroll downwards, you can make the tracks taller. Control on a Windows. And basically, you can cut whatever you don't want. Alternatively, if you would not like to cut, you can move this however you would like to. We can put this on grid mode so we can get in there a little bit more cleaner. Then here we would start cutting things out. So I would grab the razor tool. Make sure I'm not cutting anything important. Delete that. And we don't need any of this, so we can just... Get rid of all of that. What's important is fades also. So as we zoom out, select everything. Whoops. And we can add really short fades so we don't have any pops in the audio. And uh, in and fade out. And we can zoom in close to see that we're not cutting any of the audio. And you can get as close as you would like to get. If you want to get closer, just turn off snap. Make sure I didn't move anything. Turn off snap. And you can get closer there that way. So add a short fade to that again. Check this side. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Make sure we're not cutting out anything important. Maybe. Nope, nothing there. Going to add a short fade here. It's already one. I can see it a little bit. Then at the end of this, we can cut some of this out. This may be a breath, but I'm going to leave it there until we um we get to mixing that part. I'll leave it there, but we could solo it and see what it might be. Yep, so that's important. It's a part of a word. No relax. So we're going to leave that there. All righty. And let's go ahead and zoom out and finish the rest of this. Quick way to zoom out is going to be Z. 
Gonna turn snap back on with S for the moment. Um, we'll zoom in a little bit to this area. And let's cut this information out. Delete that. Cut all of this out. Delete. I believe we're cutting all of that, except for that part, but we can easily bring this back. It's probably a good spot. I habitually hit R to zoom out because I record in Pro Tools as part of my job, one of my jobs. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and apply fades to the rest of these. Zooming in. Gonna turn snap off. Bring this in closer. There we go. And here, fade that in, fade that out. Bring this in a bit. Same here, fade in, fade out, bring this in, and our fades are complete. All right, now we successfully got rid of all the dead air, if it was air. That was, that is, that's how you would do that, all right? Now, my beast turned down, I'm gonna mute everything. Start off with this lead and level it in relative, level it relative to the beat. All right. Mad when you progressing and projecting there. Now there's a couple ways we can turn this down. We can use this level here. It's like clip gain in Pro Tools if you're familiar with Pro Tools, or we can use the gain up here, or we can use the fader. Now I will say that you can get more granular with the gain knobs up here, which is why I did that. And I guess granular isn't a good word, but you have more control over what the volume does if you start with this gain knob right here. All right. Also, level is a good um, a good habit. Also, if you want to use level while you're working in the sequencer, you can do that too. You could have turned down the beat that way as well. So, just for this tutorial. We can use level. We feeling all over they contraceptives. We always make a racket. Heckless they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. As a good ballpark volume measure for vocals, I would say mix relative to where the snare is, given that the beat is mixed well. If it's not then you're going to have some issues, and I would try to get the stems for the beat. Not everything would be mixed relative to the snare, but in most cases it is. So use your best judgment. Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid shit that'll take away from my life. Don't nobody want your... All right, let's go ahead and loop this part right here. Injecting every feeling all over. They contraceptives, we always make a racket. Heckless, they interject. And... Also, good practice is to reference in different monitors back and forth. As you, you may have heard me say, my headphones suck. I can't hear bass frequencies very well. Every feeling so all I make sure to reference. Always make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never. So this is good for right now. Let's go ahead and mix in the ins and outs. The the dubs are they're also called dubs. But listen, we too focused on the. So let's bring this down too. Vision and getting the sounds right. Just injecting every feeling all over. They contraceptives, we always make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never really? listen. It might help you to, to use this because it's more visual. I would say, as I said before, whatever you're comfortable with. Injecting every feeling all over. They contraceptives, we always make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't really? never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Injecting every feeling. Contraceptives, we always make a racket. All right, now we're moving on to the hook. 
going to loop that. If you want to loop this quickly, just right click it, set loop to selection. Let's unmute the first one. Now it's a stack as indicated. So that means it's two, it's the same part done twice, two different vocal takes. So what I usually do with my stacks is pan one left and one right. Not necessarily always hard left and hard right like that. Sometimes I come in a little bit closer and it'll be about 97, sometimes 75. If there are multiple stacks, then I'll pan them oppositely in level. So if there was like harmonies, for example, and I had a low harmony, I would maybe keep the low harmony closer. So it might be panned. 33 left in the other low harmony 33 right and then if I had mid uh, Mid harmonies then maybe 55 left and 55 right done twice of course I don't ever take the same thing and duplicate it unless I have to and if I do that if you do that you want to do some detuning and some shifting as far as the timeline goes so you don't cause phasing but these are two separate takes tones in the bones yeah it's that Track clones think they own, they be capping. Know the flow, super cold, it's automatic. One thing I forgot to do was make sure I turned down both. So let's go ahead and just equalize these leads. The ins and outs are dubs, and we can do these together. Let's listen. Earth tones in the bones, yeah, it's that. Track clones think they own, they be capping. Know the flow, super cold, it's automatic. My backbone real strong, cause a racket. I like to do takes like this that I can pan on the hook because it makes it bigger. As you can hear in your headphones, it gets wider. I'll go back and forth between the verse and the hook in a second once we get this level so you can hear that. Tones in the bones, yeah, it's that. Track clones, think they own, they be capping. Know the flow, super cold, it's automatic. My backbone real strong, cause a racket. We don't have to get too uh, correct, I want to say, 100% on with this because we will be doing compression and EQ again later. No, you still can't write with us. We don't send in bites of fun. You whack your whole crew whack, you know me. All right. Oh, real strong, cause a racket. If you don't know what you stand Let's try to cold, listen to this and see what the volume is. Strong, Definitely too quiet now. Flow super cold, it's automatic. My backbone real strong, cause a racket. If you don't know what you stand All right, cool. That's a good uh, rough level mix right there. Let's go ahead and put in these hook libs. Pull the level down. Flow super cold, it's automatic. automatic. My backbone real strong, cause a racket. racket, racket, racket. Holds mad when you put fabrics at track clones. Now, artists, all artists like their ad libs a different volume. So be sure to cooperate with the artist and ask them how loud they would like their ad libs. Nowadays, I would say artists like their ad libs louder and louder. So make sure they make sure you ask them. Now I moved these tracks over here so we don't get anything confused with the master section. There's absolutely nothing in here as we deleted everything in the last video. I'm going to put the beat over here so we can see that. And here is the lead. Um, let's go ahead and grab a note from uh, Jiggery Pokery. A TMA9 will be great. And put this up over here. Whatever, bring it down. Just so we have some more space and we can move around a little more freely in the rack. All right, this is the lead vocal. Now, from here, I'm going to mute everything else again. First thing, with this lead, we're going to compress it. We're going to compress this vocal. Now, there's a couple ways you can compress and reason you can use the channel strip mixer, the compressor here, or you can use the M-Class compressor, or you can even go as far as adding the channel dynamics, which is the same as what's in the mixer, but this is for the, it was made more for the VST version of Reason, but it does the same thing. So let's go ahead and add the M-Class 
compressor and we can go back and forth between the rack compressor, I mean the mixer compressor, the channel strip, and the M-class and see which one we like best. So I'm going to bypass this and let's start off with the one here. Now, as I said, I collapse these menus. So right now I'm just showing the dynamics. We can hide the input for right now. Let's listen. Let's loop this somewhere in the verse where I know there isn't too much profane language so I don't offend anyone or the artist doesn't offend anyone. Now with this compressor I noticed that um, you have to turn up the input. Now there's a signal flow here. It starts at the input gain, goes down into dynamics, then EQ, then into the inserts. It says everything here and it essentially follows the path that already exists. So if I turn on this compressor on this vocal, always make a racket. Heckless they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right just to end up. If I bring this threshold down all the way, I still won't get much gain reduction until I bring up this gain knob. That'll take ways, make a racket. Heckless they interjecting, but we don't never Watch. listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right just to end up in your mentions. And that kind of may be counterintuitive for you. So if that happens, you can bring down the gain knob here after the fader, I mean. Not hoping they sound bites, not open this door. Once you get the amount of compression that you want. But shit that a takeaways, make a racket. Heckless they interjecting, but we don't never listen. Now as far as how much compression I want, I would keep it from about one of these LEDs to two. Use your ears. I'll show you what it sounds like when it's over compressed. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions. Not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid. That's too compressed. We can now hear everything in the background and it's it's over compressed. So we don't want to over compress anything. Okay. Shit that a takeaways, make a racket. Heckless they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid shit that a takeaways. Make now for this reason, because of um that if you want to mix, you know, quiet, start mixing quiet, it can be hard to do that. Um so I prefer to do it in the rack. I just wanted to demonstrate why. So if anyone asks this is why. All right, we're gonna use the M class compressor. Always make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right, just to end up in your mentions. Not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid shit. That now this works similarly with the input gain right here. This is how much of that level was going to go into the compressor, but it's a little bit more intuitive when it's all right here from left to right. Add a takeaways, make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too. You can also see the decibel amount on this meter here, whereas you can't see it in the mixer, which might confuse some of you. Focused on the vision and getting the sounds right, just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid shit that a takeaways, make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right, just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid shit that a takeaways, make a racket. This is the threshold right here. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and over compressed. Right, just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid shit that a takeaways. Make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. This LED goes from 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. If you can't see it, that's what it is. Goes by fours, okay? Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping. Now, as far as the attack and release, let's listen. They sound bites, not open this stupid shit that it takes. I'll solo this for a second. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid shit that it takes. Make a racket. Let's listen to the attack so you know what's going on. Let's stay interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right just to end up in your mentions. See how the attack 
kind of cuts down. If we have a fast attack, it cuts down on the transience of his words. Not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid shit that'll take ways. Make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions. Not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid shit that'll take ways. Make All right, let's try this release now see what it sounds like a racket heckless they interjecting but we don't never listen we too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right just to end up in your mentions not hoping they sound bites not open the stupid shit that it take ways make a racket now i like to have a fast release on the compressor so the, the vocal stays you know punchy and precise heckless they interjecting but we don't never listen we too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right just to end up in your mentions not hoping they sound bites not open the stupid and you can even hit this adapt release button when you use this adapt release button it will keep the the release time to wherever you set it for short peaks and it'll automatically increase the length for longer peaks. All right. Shit that'll take ways. Make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to Let's end get a little up bit in more compression in here. They sound bites. Now open the stupid shit that'll take ways. Make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision so and this getting is before. the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions. Now hoping they sound bites. Now open the stupid shit that'll take ways. Make a racket. After. Heckless, they interjecting. But we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid shit that it take ways. Make sounds a bit fuller and uh obviously a bit louder. Now we have output gain here, which is very intuitive. Um we didn't necessarily have output gain in the mixer, so we have to use the fader. So it's really nice to use the M-Class compressor if you're working with stock devices because you have everything on one device and you don't have to jump around too much in the mixer. It's easier to work with if you're a beginner. From there, I would go into the mixer once you understand everything here. Just my opinion. Everyone may learn different though. Go rack it. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid shit that it take ways. Make a rack. Again, mixing relative to the snare. And after we get through these vocals, I'm going to reference in my monitors and fix anything live. Rack it. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid shit that. All right, next EQ. Built in devices. Now we have a couple EQs that we can work with in Reason. There is one that I would suggest you work with, or two. You can either use the channel EQ, the rack extension, or you can use it up in the mixer. Or you can use the M-Class equalizer, which I would recommend. It makes the most sense for this tutorial, and it's a lot more visual. However, you can use this one as well. So let's look at it. So you can look at this while you mix with whatever you would like to, or you can use this. There's a lot of options and reason. So... Let's go ahead and grab that in-class equalizer, and maybe we can use them in juxtaposition. All right, let's go ahead and EQ. And we too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right, just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they now, sound right. Now, this EQ has a low cut. It cuts 30 hertz and below. Now open the stupid shit that it take ways. Make a racket, heckless day. But it doesn't cut too much. Now, I like using these together. This EQ is the same as the one that's in the mixer, by the way. It's going to be changing everything in this area in real time, but we can use the Spectrum EQ to do it as well if you're more of a visual learner and you're not too good with knowing what you're hearing yet. Interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on EQ the EQ on. And the Sorry, right. wrong channel. End up in your mentions, not hoping they sound. Let's turn on the high pass the filter to cut out these lows. We don't need all of this information right here. That take ways. Make a rap. I usually cut about 76 hertz and below. Some people like to cut even more. Causes a thinner vocal. Never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just I don't ever cut that much personally. To end up in your Unless asked to. Not 
open this stupid shit that'll take ways make a rap you can even turn on this low shelf if you want to cut down more since reasons eqs don't have a slope okay stay interjecting but we don't never what that would look like is vision and getting the sounds right just to end up in your mentions not hoping they sound Oh, this is off. It's on. I don't hear anything. Open this stupid shit that a takeaways. Make a racket. Heckless they interjecting, but we don't. So we can even cut that right there at 30 hertz. You can bring it up. And you can see what's happening right there. It's all up to you which EQ you would like to use. But I do want to cut some more of that out, so I am gonna use both of them together. End up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid shit that a takeaways. Make a racket. Heckless they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on And you have a Q right here. Be careful with this Q because it automatically adds resonance at this frequency right here, at the cutoff frequency. Actually that's a bit higher than the cutoff frequency. Um, so yes, be careful with that. The vision and getting the sounds right just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites, not open this stupid shit that a takeaways, make a racket, heckless they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. All right, cool. Now we've cut about 80 hertz and below. Let's go ahead and listen to our mid frequencies all right just to end up in your mentions not hoping they sound bites not a good place to cut for vocals would be around between 200 and 250 hertz so let's go ahead and turn on this one and we'll dial this in to about 225 is a good start and we'll bring up this so we can hear what i'm about to cut all right, I'll bring it up slowly. Open this stupid shit that a takeaways. Make a racket. Heckless they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We, we don't want that sound in our vocal. Too focused on the vision. We're cutting this frequency out because it's muddy. By cutting this frequency, we get a clear vocal. So at 225, we add some gain. Bring up the cue a little bit so we can narrow what we're about to cut. You can sweep it. And also listen to to the frequencies and see what sounds like. Getting the sounds right, just to end up in your mentions. Not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid shit that a takeaways. Make a racket. Heckless they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right, just to end up in your mentions. Not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid shit that a takeaways. Make a racket. Heckless they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right, just to end up in your mentions. Not hoping. And they sound bites not open this stupid shit that a takeaways make a racket heckless they interjecting but we don't never listen we too focused on so i'll cut about right there don't have to go too drastic with it i say if you have to cut too drastic you're using the wrong eq of course with reason you only have a couple of options so just uh use your ears on the vision and getting the sounds right just to end up in your mentions not hoping they sound bites not open this stupid shit that it takes right. make a rack gonna turn on this next one get heckless they into and i want to cut around 600 hertz 600 hertz is good for thinning out a vocal um or even boosting it to make it sound a bit thicker but be careful with this use your ears all right, let's go ahead and boost up the gain so you can hear what's going on. I still have it soloed. Projecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid shit that it takes. We can hear the vocal racket. thinning out. They interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open this stupid I'll shit. I'll cut it about a decibel. Make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused focused on the vision and you can see the cue changing a little bit here if you have to boost a bit more dramatically so you can see what the cue is doing don't be scared to do that all right that's a good amount right there as far as the high shelf i will leave that until the end but um yeah let's let's leave that until the end and we'll talk about that when we get to our buses but um ideally i'll go over it now you would turn this on and you would boost maybe about a decibel or two so that the high frequencies of the vocal stand out more the vocal cuts through the mix a bit clearer okay so it would sound like this and then getting the sounds right just to end up in your mentions not hoping they sound bites not open this stupid shit that it takeaways make a racket 
Now let's go ahead and get these EQs. Let's turn this on and off. All right. So you can hear what's going on. This is before the EQ. Hecklers, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound And that's right. after. So again, with the EQ. Boys make a racket. Hecklers, they interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just to end up in your mentions, off. not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid shit that'll take ways. Make a racket. On. Always make a racket. Heckless stay into. I wish there was a quicker way for me to uh, go over that, but um, maybe there is. Hold on, let's see. All right, let's turn this off. Turn this off. Listen. Always make a racket. No EQ. Stay interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right, just to end up in your mentions. Not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid shit that it take ways. Make a racket. Heckless stay interjecting, but we don't never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right, just to end up in your mentions. Not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid shit that it take ways. Make a. All right. So basic, that's how you compress an EQ, a vocal. I will go through and do that for everything else. Now, a great thing about Reason is you can right click on this mix channel, copy the channel settings. We can just do all right now. We could come up to our ins and outs. Paste. Now I would use the same EQ settings for all of these because it's the same vocal. Now the compression is going to be different because they are dynamically different. All right. So I'm just going to paste these on the rest of these channels. Whoops. Paste all. Paste all. All right. Let's uh, bring in the in and out. Check the compressor. Make sure it's good. Racket, heckless, they interjecting, but we don't really? never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting the sounds right. Just I to would end up in your mentions, not hoping they bring the threshold down or bring the input up for this case. Not open the stupid shit that it take ways. Make a racket, heckless, they interjecting, but we don't really? never listen. We too focused on the vision and getting both the sounds in this case. Right. Just to end up in your mentions, not hoping they sound bites. Not open the stupid. Shit. Let's go ahead and open up a second EQ here so we can cut out some shit more. That Takeaways, make a racket. Heckless, they interjecting, but we don't really? never listen. We too focused on the vid. Dubs, you can cut out more of the low end because the lead is going to be taking more of that low end. But I wouldn't cut out too much, just a little bit more, like you've seen. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the hook portions. I'm going to duplicate this device, uh, Command D, and put one over here in this side of the rack. So we get more freedom to move around with this. Um, I did have this panned. I think I accidentally moved it, so we'll pan it again. About 78 is good. And 78 is good. Um, there's no particular uh, necessarily value I shoot for panning. It all depends on the feel of the track, all right? Vision and getting the sounds right. Just... Let's go ahead and get to this portion. Gonna hit Command L to loop around that. Earth tones in the bones, yes, tap. And then we're Trap checking this. They yawn, they be capping. Know the flows. All Super right. Cold, it's automatic. My backbone real strong, cause a Bring racket. up the input a little Earth bit. Earth tones in my bones, yes, fabrics. Threshold Trap pull cones, it down. They, yawn, they be capping. Know the flows. Super cold, it's automatic. My backbone real strong, cause a racket. Earth tones in the bones, yes, yeah, fat. Track clones think they yawn, they be capping. Know the flow, super cold, it's automatic. All right, cool. I'm going to keep these same EQ settings here. I'm going to copy this again and paste it to the right channel. All right, paste all. And we have to change the panning again. I believe it was 78. Um, when I pasted, I could have just did a uh, paste insert effects and it wouldn't have affected everything else. 78 it is. So cool. My backbone real strong. Now we don't want to mix in solo too much. We always want to have that beat going. So cause a racket. Earth tones in my bones. Yeah, it's fabrics. Track clones think they own. They be capping. Know the flow. Super cold. 
cold, it's automatic. My backbone real strong, cause her racket. Now, what I like to do in this case, um, when you want to turn down multiple tracks at once, you can select both of them by holding down shift and drag these faders down. You can't do this for these gain knobs up here yet, and you can't do it in the rack. So you could do it here, or you can do that in the sequencer, as you saw earlier. Tones in the bones, yeah, it's that. Track clones, make they own, they be capping. Know the flow, super cold, it's automatic. My backbone real strong, cause a racket. Alrighty, so we're good here. And just double check the compressor on the other side, make sure everything's good. Earth tones in my bones, yeah, it's fabrics. Track clones, think they own, they be capping. And we are good. So the last track will be this hook ad lib. So we're gonna turn that on and make sure we're in the area where that would be. Tones in my bones, yeah, it's fabrics. Track clones, think they own, they be capping, capping. Know the flow, super cold, it's automatic. So immediately you notice there's no compression going on, so we're gonna need to bring that threshold all the way down, maybe. Bring the input up. All right, that's a good level. And then we have the output knob here. Ideally, for gain staging, you do want to use the closest, the earliest signal volume option you have. So I would have started with this output gain knob here. But for the sake of ease, I did use the faders because it was easy to change them together. Now, like I said, you probably want to shoot for using these output gain knobs you do want to shoot for using those output gain knobs but once you know the rules you can break them it's not too bad in this case it's not bad at all all right now we have officially leveled panned and compressed as well as EQ'd our vocals. In the next video, we will be dealing with send effects. We'll be adding reverb and delays. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.